In this video, we're gonna talk about Flutter versus Swift in iOS app development. According to Statista, the app market worldwide is projected to reach 750 billion by 2027, which surely projects a significant growth graph in the days to come. So with this data, we can be assured that the mobile application development market is not going down anytime soon, so does iOS application development. Thus, arising the hustle of choosing the right framework between Flutter and Swift. Although both frameworks are equally efficient and cater to most of the requirements of business owner, certain metrics makes them different from one another. As we know, Flutter is an open source UI software development kit created by Google that allows cross-platform application development with a single code base. However, Swift is a high-level, general-purpose, multi-paradigm, compiled programming language introduced as a replacement for Apple's traditional programming language, that is Objective-C. Now let's dive into the detailed Flutter vs Swift comparison on various parameters to understand the metrics better. First parameter, integration and development. For integration and development, both Swift and Flutter are convincing. Flutter on the one side has many plugins and packages that you can integrate into applications and it allows the integration of third-party services like Firebase and Google Maps. Swift also has many system APIs and frameworks that help develop efficient iOS applications. Also, Swift along with Xcode IDE offer many advanced tools and features for iOS application development. Next, second parameter. Performance. If budgets are not your constraint and you are ready to have separate application developed for each platform, then Swift is the best solution. Being a native framework, it offers greater efficiency and help deliver fast, smooth, and reliable applications. Swift produces highly optimized code and offer a rich set of system APIs, which can boost application performance. However, if you wish for a framework with cross-platform functionality that offers better cost efficiency, then Flutter is equally efficient to build iOS applications. Flutter uses a layer architecture that minimizes the overhead of platform-specific APIs, resulting in better performance. This architecture enables Flutter to offer smooth animations and transitions as well as fast startup times. Third parameter, platform maturity. Flutter was first launched in May 2017, whereas Swift came into picture in June 2014. So we can infer that Flutter is a relatively new platform compared to Swift, but it is growing at a tremendous pace, both in popularity and maturity. Flutter also has a vast ecosystem of third-party packages and plugins that enables developers to add additional functionality to their web applications. However, Swift being a bit more mature framework compared to Flutter has a well-established ecosystem. It provides a wide range of features such as type inference, high performance optimization, and more making it easy to build performant apps. It also has a large ecosystem of libraries, frameworks, and tools which can help developers to extend the functionality of their apps. The next parameter, code example. Considering a basic code example between Flutter vs Swift, Flutter uses the material app widget for setting up the app title and home screen. To create the basic layout, we use the scaffold widget with an app bar and a centered text widget which will display the hello world message. Now considering the Swift code example, it uses the UI kit framework to create a basic label with the hello world message and add it to the apps view controller. Then we label the position in the center of the screen using the center property. In conclusion, both Flutter and Swift are excellent choices for mobile app development and the decision on which to use depends on your specific needs and preferences. Flutter offers cross-platform development, hot reload, rich widgets, and fast development, while Swift offers native performance, a strong type system, and powerful development tools like Xcode. Ultimately, the choice between the two will depend on your priorities and the requirements of your app. So, which framework will you choose for iOS app development? Share with us in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.